Hey guys, my name is Elle if you're new here and if you're not, thanks so much for coming back and hanging out with me today. On my channel, I cover content about cruelty-free beauty, home fragrance and bath and body works, money-saving shopping hacks and like couponing bargain shopping hauls. And I've started to do some content about my side gig, reselling clothing items primarily on apps like Poshmark and Mercari. I've been trying new ways to get inventory and getting some mystery boxes because who doesn't love a mystery? And I've watched so many different types of unboxings on YouTube, they're addicting, I swear. So I wanted to share what came in this one with you guys in case it helps you out make any kind of business decisions for yourself or they're just fun to see what people get. This is probably the, yeah, this is the most expensive mystery box I've gotten so far. I'm, <laughs> kind of amazed I even bought this one. Today I'm unboxing a Goodwill blue box which are their curated boxes. You can get all kinds of different categories. They have jackets, you could get a jeans box, mixed apparel, and they also have some vintage ones. I think some are new. They have like a vintage dresses, they have a retro like Y2K one that sells out really fast. This is the vintage slash Y2K box. And this box used to be one of the more expensive ones on the site, but it is currently on sale. I'm filming this at the end of January, so might want to check it out quickly if you're interested. So the description's a little funky. I'll pull it up on the site and read to you exactly what it is. So this box is huge. It's the heaviest one I've gotten from them so far. It was $79.99 plus $5 for shipping. And this box is huge and heavy. So $5 for shipping is actually a steal, although... I feel like most sites, once you spend 75, shipping is free. So I think on thread up rescue boxes, that's the case. So that's a little bit of a bummer. So I don't really sell a lot of vintage. I just started selling on Depop again, which is better for like 90s vintage type stuff or so I hear. Some items I have good luck with, like I've always liked kind of funky vintage things I might find, but I never really specialized in it. So I figured this would be a good way to get me to learn a little bit more about it. But I kind of accidentally bought this box, to be honest with you. I just wanted to see how much shipping would be. I wasn't sure if it would be more or less and I just wanted to see what the total would be and then because all my information was saved on their website when I hit checkout usually you go to like you know another screen where you review the order it did place my order so I was kind of kicking myself about it and because it's the most expensive one I've had so far I'm really hoping there's some really funky cool stuff in here I can resell and make a good profit on because I really didn't mean to buy this one to be perfectly honest with you so this is the women's curated vintage y2k apparel box it has 10 to 12 pieces of curated vintage and or Y2K apparel, including tops, bottoms, outerwear, and more. Any garment that has eccentricity, uniqueness, pizzazz, tackiness, and novelty patterns are ones that made the cut for this exciting box. So that's really exciting. I love funky prints and I feel like sometimes like, you know, the weirder, the better, or the weirder, the more it has come back in style. We date vintage as 20 years back or more. Y2K garments are from 2000 up to modern day. So it could even have modern stuff in here. That's so weird. Mixed sizing may include garments for all seasons. Brands include vintage Y2K label boutique brands. I don't really know what that means. Mall brands, designer brands, high, mid, and low tier brands, amongst other vintage slash Y2K labels. It says items should be considered used. All their usual uh, kind of text here to cover their butts, like things can have minor issues. I haven't so far in less expensive boxes I've gotten from them. Knock on wood, so hopefully nothing has stains, rips, or tears, but without further ado, I'm so nervous for this one. It's so weird. Normally I'm just excited to rip them open, but let's see what's in here. What I do like about these boxes more than some other places I've ordered boxes from recently is that you order them on a Friday and this one came on the next Thursday. So they always come within a week. That's pretty fast. Like they must curate these and have them ready to go during the week and then they just slap labels on them once you purchase them. So they do ship pretty quickly. So that's amazing. And they do come FedEx from Florida and I'm up in New England. So not the furthest, but you know, it's not next door. Okay. Don't remind me how much I paid for you. Oh my god. Oh. All right. I see a non clothing thing and some bling right off the bat. So here's our first little sneak peek. I have to see what this is. 
There's still like the screws that had it attached to a wall somewhere. <laughs> Disney Mix Mac video photos music. Watch your favorite videos on a color LCD screen. Holds up to six hours of video or 240. So oh, it's a video or MP3 digital media player. Pirates of the Caribbean. I love Pirates of the Caribbean. The fact that this is in a Y2K vintage box makes me feel old, but this looks so ancient. It was $79.99, now $19.98. I don't know where that price tag is from. Oh my god. Oh, you can put mix clips in there. Oh my god. Or max clips. Package includes Disney Mix Max, Windows 98 SE driver. Oh, that's so cool. Mix it software, stereo earbuds, and wrist strap included. Box is opening up a little bit right here, but oh my god, I so did not expect to find this. That is so funky and crazy. I wonder if people collect those still. Okay, I see. Okay, I don't know what to go for first. I see this beautiful red item. Brand is Aardvark's Odd Arc, size 26. Has some like Sesame Street looking characters on the logo. And this is, I actually have a similar skirt in blue listed right now, but it's just a long kind of midi skirt. Looks like a linen-y type fabric. Has a little button and zip in the back. I don't do great with skirts, but like this is the kind of skirt I like to wear, but I don't know. Probably be too small for me. Okay, that's a little funky. They said items with pizzazz. I'm not seeing the pizzazz here. Looks in pretty good shape. Maybe a few little pulls and nubs you get from linen items. All right, what is this? What is this velvet? Material Girl Active, size medium. That's not exciting. They still make that. Hmm, all right. So like a, oh, this is kind of cool though box is taking up so much of my couch so it's like a zip up little jacket and these are cool the detail right here oh I love that that's cute very juicy couture era style going on there definitely y2k that's funky 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 we're gonna do a lot of research with this box and if anything catches your eye or you're interested in it I will have my links to my Poshmark and Mercari stores down below if you are new to either one you can use my referral codes that will be linked down below for a certain dollar amount off your first purchase like ten dollars on Poshmark which is really great or I always have my business email in the description you can send me an email and we can work out a private deal through PayPal that will probably be cheaper cheaper shipping rate and I don't have to account for platform fees so we can directly do it that way oh my god I had to pull this out this beautiful beaded purse my mom like collects and sells something similar so I might have to run it by her I like that this one's actually big enough to put stuff in it's this little like rope handle kind of satiny on the inside I'm not seeing any kind of brand there's a lot of really cool details though, like the little flowers on this bobble. I like that it's a little bit of a drawstring. That's really cute. That style's pretty in right now. A few like pulls on the fabric like up here. But I'll have to look it over more later. Hopefully none of the beads are missing. I wish I had some sort of brand so it'd be cool to look it up. But the inside looks pretty clean. That's really cute. Aww okay all right we have a little black tank top here with some bling on it <laughs> I didn't read it before I held it up <laughs> can I even list this the tag is totally cut out well no it's not I just it's <laughs> oh my god all right well at least I'm having fun I can't read this tag. It's totally faded. I don't see a size or anything. It looks like this was like, you know, worn. It's a little faded. I have to wear this around my boyfriend, see if he like notices. Can I even list this? Do people wear stuff like this? It's cracking me up. Very sexy. 
<laughs> All right, not what I was expecting to find in here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I love this. Oh, it's new with tags. It has shoulder pads. It has pearls, guys, and rhinestones. This pretty long black sweater. The brand is Aftershock, 100% cotton, hand wash. Copyright 1992. This is cute. I think they call it dead stock when it's like older and vintage and has the tag still on it. Has the bedazzling on the cuffs too. This looks like an old, old Macy's tag. There's a style number on here. Color jewel, but the price was ripped off few dirty areas from storage but I mean this is cute I'd wear something like this now wait why is there no size all these tags and no size are we serious right now oh that's so annoying the size is cut off there I don't know I can't tell if it's a sweater or a sweater dress because it's so long but this is really cool I love this I would wear something like that oh I see more bling bling. Do you see that? All right. Oh, this is funky. This is the brand Leon Levin, size extra large, cotton poly blend. This is, oh my God, this little button up tee. Oh, I think I just saw a stain. It's white, so I mean, Yep, this has some stains on it. This might be like my first ever stained item from a Goodwill blue box. Shame on them having that in like my most expensive box I've gotten from them. But the print is like these little golfer ladies. I actually found a vintage ice bucket with like a similar golfing woman print on it that I got my dad for Christmas because his mother was like a champion golfer, something crazy. So this is cute. This almost looks 80s. This looks like something my mom would wear when I was a kid. Like looking, not that I was born in the 80s, but I don't know. This almost reminds me of 80s. Maybe I can do a little OxyClean soak and get that steam out, I hope, because this is kind of cute. I could picture someone wearing that. Almost looks like pajamas to me, but I don't know. Okay, we have something size extra, extra large, brand new in the bag. Rugby World Cup 1995. This is, just this South Africa Rugby World Cup 1995. Is there someone out there looking for this? I have no idea. I'm gonna take it out, but yeah, there's a t-shirt. Okay. We have a scarf with plaid and paisley bold very bold it's a little bit of a frayed edge but that's everywhere so it looks on purpose i'm not sure how to photograph or like style a scarf so if you have any recommendations let me know i'm not seeing a tag or brand on here anywhere but that's essentially what it looks like. Okay, funky, no materials tag or anything. So that's a little bit of a bummer. Oh, and another tapestry looking scarf. Ooh, Picasso. That is cool. I currently have a Norman Rockwell silk scarf in my closet. Oh, wow. That's really neat. So hopefully this will come up in Google Lens or I can search and find the material. I'm not sure it really feels like silk. Not quite, but oh, that's so cool. I could see someone hanging that on their wall even. That's funky. Very like Prince of Bel Air color scheme there. I think it's safe to say they sent me well over 10 or 12. <gasps> oh my God, this is cute. New with tags, some little tea towels the boynton collection by sandra boynton i know i've seen this before these this cartoon strip cacti are trendy i love them with a little rabbit and then a dog over here these are cute 
kind of funky colors. Okay. Oh, some more linen-y type things. JC Penny Home Collection One Tab Top Valance. Oh my God. Angelique Toile, 50 by 15. Oh, I love this print. Can someone please tell me what this style is called? My grandmother had like wallpaper like this. She had so much like this. I want to say it's like Victorian, some sort of wallpaper. Oh my god. This makes me think of her so much. And it's brand new. I can't tell if it's been yellowed or if it's supposed to look like that. So please let me know. Oh, that's so interesting. It's just a little bit of everything in here. All right, let's get this heavily beaded beauty out, okay? 100% pure silk, made in India, size small, Judith Ann Creations. Ooh. Yeah, this looks a lot like a Christmas top I got from Savers recently for myself. That's what the tag looks like. Oh, please, please be in good shape. You look so interesting. Is this a zipper? Oh, this would be fun. I hope this fits because that would be really fun to have like a modeled picture. Please zip without any issues. Oh my God. This is beautiful. Long sleeved. Wow, this is awesome. There's like a few little Pulled threads, but wow, look at this. I have to do research on this brand. This is stunning. It is heavy. I hope someone buys it on Poshmark because otherwise paying for shipping will be interesting. Oh, too bad New Year's Eve just passed. This will be fun for that. It's like feathers, it's a little see-through, and it zips in the back. Pretty sure that's the back. Oh my god, that is stunning. Wow. That's probably my favorite thing so far. That is beautiful. I want to know where the person who buys that is wearing it to. Oh yeah, baby. Got an Argyle sweater vest by Jean Bell, hand loomed, 100% cotton, size large. Oh yeah, Argyle sweater vest. I was just listening to the Dime Store Cowgirls. I love that podcast. And Regina, who is one of the hosts, was saying she's been doing well with vintage sweater vests. So hopefully she went full Argyle, full Clueless style like this. Seems to be in pretty good shape. Everything so far has, except that golf shirt, which had a little pilling as well. But that is cute. This box is just full of surprises. Oh, this is very pilled. Eek. I don't know. The brand is High Five Sportswear. This is a cotton poly blend, size large. It says Advanced Technology Bamber? Bomber. <laughs> Northrop B2 Division. It's like a split high neck. Ooh, this, this needs to be washed. It's a little musty. It's so pilled. I don't know. I'm tempted to just donate this. I mean, even on the logo, there's so much pilling, but I guess I'll look it up real quick. I mean, the, the vibe is cool. It is very 90s, has this like funky split neck here, but ooh, ooh, ooh. it's just going to go right in the wash either way. Uh oh, weight makes me nervous. Ooh, but this feels really nice. This is KB Lawrence by Crystal Kobe. 100% polyester, size petite 10. It's definitely a cool shirt. Oh, that's pretty. It has a little detail near the button up. And the best part is the embroidery on the collar. It's a little career shirt. It's not too yellow. This is cute. You can make that look pretty modern. Oh, I see some denim. I know, I was hoping for some like nice vintage mom jeans. Oh, these. This is dirty. I like that it's a denim jacket. Brand is EXP Jeans by Express. Oh, 100% cotton. 
size small, old express label. Definitely cool, cool laid back 90s vibes. So many jean jackets to list. It's oh, it has some stains over here. That really sucks. And then I don't know what the heck happened to this sleeve. That's what I saw. Is it intentionally faded like that? Because the other one isn't like that. Kind of looks in rough condition. I don't know. Maybe someone will want it for distressing. I don't know. Can I even sell that? I always want to try to sell things and the longer I look at them, I'm like, no, I can't even list that. I don't know. That one needs some TLC. <laughs> More new in the package. That's nice. A jockey athletic shirt. 100% cotton. These look like tank tops, I guess. Copyright 1971-1974. Ooh, these are super old. Looks like these are size 42 to 44, size large, I assume men's. It says up here three for something. So there might be multiple in here. I know, these are like just too small for my dad and probably too big for my boyfriend. Otherwise, I would probably give it to one of them, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe get a few bucks for it listed. Ooh, this is heavyweight. Ooh, some new tags. I am washable. Another time. This was originally $54, size 5X. Okay, we love the plus size. What is it? Oh, tag in my eye. It's like some nice gauzy polyester pants. No. It's like a huge slit on the side. What the? These smell super musty. Ooh, these are gonna need to go hang out outside or get steamed. Oh, I don't even. Maybe it's a maxi skirt. I don't even know, guys. I don't even want to be touching this right now. Oh no! And it has some safety pins in it. I don't. I don't. I don't know about that one. Something. It's. Some, there's a lot going on. Ooh, but butterflies. This is so cute. It says it's a short robe, butterfly style. This looks like boutique-y. Wrap up by VP. This is cute. This would have been a good Christmas present. Looks, I assume, brand new. Guess I'll have to unfold it to see what the whole thing looks like. Yeah, that'd be a cute little gift idea. Butterflies are all trendy. It's adorable. Oh. Oh, what's this? Is this a popcorn top? Brand is Step In Style. 100% polyester, free size. Has the tag on it. Woohoo! This should probably be an easy sell. I used to always see these at gift shops. Oh my god, that's adorable. It's this really pretty, like, sage green color. That'll be great for spring. Love that one. Oh. This looks messy. I don't know. I'm scared. Don't send me white. Okay. Even with my light being so bright, can you see all the crazy staining on this one? Oh, uh uh. Honey, no. Oh, told you I was scared. No tags on this one. Looks like just a maxi skirt with some embroidery on it. Oh. Oh, it's like all the card symbols. Was this like an Alice in Wonderland costume, maybe? There's no tag, no size. Maybe homemade, but unfortunately, this is extremely dirty and stained. I don't know why they would even send that. That, I have no choice but to donate that. Oh, it's the bucket hat? No. The brand is Trixie, 100% cotton. It's a little hat. I definitely had these hats growing up. I forget what they're called. It's almost like a half bucket hat with a little brim. Like Hilary Duff was definitely wearing these. And maybe it's reversible. It has a cool, no, this is a tag. Oh, that's cute. A little accessory. Oh, I see a huge bag. <laughs> This is like the funkiest mystery box ever. 
new with tags uh rampage clothing company i think they're still a thing i have stuff from them this was originally 28 dollars, then went on clearance for 14.99 oh my god this is so funky i'm watching dynasty and i feel like one of the characters could almost be seen using a bag this style in like i don't know like a different color pretty kind of boho has this fringe this is fun it's so dramatic i guess it's big enough It'd be fun for like groceries or like a farmer's market that's so cute the last item tis white looks like a t-shirt imagine oh it's kind of a nice note to leave this box on with the planet and the peace sign. Tag is super worn though. Can't really read that at all. And smells a lot like fabric softener. Is it dirty and black over there? It's like it has some like dye transfer. This one would be good if someone wanted to tie dye. Stained, but that is really cute. You can see someone upcycling this. It's not in like terrible, con I think I'm seeing some spots on the back, but that's really cute. Okay, so let's count up how many items were in this box. So there were 24 things in this box, like double what was expected, but a lot of them were home and not clothing items and a lot were like smaller accessory type items. So it is nice that they do throw in extras. I have noticed that with them, with other brands, sometimes it's like the exact amount they tell you is the exact amount you get, no more, no less. So I, it is nice that they do that, the little extras, and you can decide what to do with them. Of those, five are kind of in not good condition, are kind of ruined, and I can't really list them. Maybe six, I couldn't figure out those big plus size pants, what was going on there, I need to figure those out. So, you know, a lot of it wasn't in necessarily sellable condition, so it's like they send you extras and then not enough of the actual item i don't know so what did you think of this box did you recognize any of the vintage brands anything stick out to you that you think could be worth a lot i haven't really been selling a lot of accessories so i'll be branching out a little bit with this i don't quite know what to think of this one it's all pretty like new to me type of stuff not normally what i would pick up at a thrift store except maybe a couple things so hopefully it goes well it was a bigger investment than i've done in other boxes so far so it will give me a good kick in the butt to do a lot of research but there's just so many things I feel like I really I really don't know we'll have to see maybe the Pirates of the Caribbean thing is like worth big bucks I don't know would you get this box have you gotten this box I would love to hear any experiences you've had with any mystery boxes in a comment down below I always read them and love to talk to you guys there thank you so much for watching all the way till the end and hanging out with me today it means so much if you could like my video it really helps me out and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to join our glam bam fam and hit the bell notification button so you never miss another upload I'm gonna film another unboxing right Right now and I have a lot of other ones coming so definitely stay tuned if you're interested in reseller content or any of the other topics I mentioned earlier on my channel thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one three two one bam